the sort of ingenious Bangladesh, ingenious institution of Bangladesh, they have some program, they have some sections to conduct such accreditation procedure in Bangladesh. At such, you know, recently we have seen what a big number of Indian institutions, program institutions has been established in the country, both in private sector and the public sector. But the quality, quantity is the quality, standard of the graduates, we need it needs assessment. As such, we, depending on that, looking at that, the Indian institution has built up accreditation system. You know, such accreditation system is not in the government section or in any private section, anywhere else in the country, except in engineer institution. Through that, through that accreditation program, the engineer student, the engineer institution tries to uplift the engineering education, professional education in the country, both in the private sector and production sector. Gentlemen, this accreditation is very helping hand. Once we get the degree accredited, once our graduates know that my degree is accredited, my course is accredited, what I learned it is accepted, then if it's contented, and they can work easily in any in any someone any one different different situation. Not only that, if he intends to transfer his course from one country to another country, one institution to another institution, it becomes convenient for him when he knows that his courses, his degrees are accredited. Not only that. Today, the, the global market is so, so wide that engineers give a service throughout the globe, anywhere in the globe, anything, any city, any discipline. So, he should earn ethical, a competence, so that he can give his service anywhere, and the employer, employers there. The intent to hire, the intent to recruit the engineer, provided his degree is accredited and after that mark level. Today, engineering education or our education is not limited only in one thing. Engineering education is social based, cultural based, industry based. So, if I think the become engineer, I will work in the construction industry and I will retire the construction industry and I will live the life smoothly. That base has gone. Today, the professional workers, professional engineers, they have to interact with society. They have to be in a different culture. They have to be with the people, what the people demands. <coughs> What the society demands. So he should build the technology, he should give the service, he should react to the people what they need, what they demand, what they require. That's why the technology development today is very vital and important for the sense of giving service in the nation. We have Professional people who can look in the professional development, no doubt. We implement the policies, and policy is given by the government. We go to implement the policy of the government, no doubt. We are the one of Prime Minister of the country, General Sheikh Hasina. He depends on the technical personalities of this country. She mentioned many deliberations that we have to uplift that technical education 
But apne, without the plane, they will cannot survive. We cannot face our, pro- face our problem. She mentioned in Copenhagen lecture that all the technical problems in the country, all problems that are faced by our technical people, by our researchers, by our experts. Only thing is the world organization be tracking the financial support. They were capable of facing our problems. So that is a that is an announcement by politician and the leader. But she knows that our problems can be solved by our people. But we engineers probably still do not know whether we will solve our problems with our problems. As such, we need to uplift our knowledge. As such, we should think innovative. We should be creative. We, we, our graduates shall be made for competent. And they shall have interaction with the industry. This kind of conference here we find people from industries, from academics, from private, from public, different sectors. Their interactions, their deliberations, their knowledge based talking over the papers definitely contribute much, uplift much to our new graduates who can contribute to this. He becomes more and more complete. I believe for the last two days deliberation is quite capable and sufficient to make our participants to raise their knowledge at least to some extent. At least to a little half. That is our success. I hope that The conference committee, the seminar committee, shall give some recommendation. The recommendation shall be based on the deliberation and we shall communicate to the right place so that that can be used to uplift our society, uplift our economy, uplift our technology. Especially shipbuilding technology the most important area in our country. We know it's an army with foreign currency in the coming years. So we need to uplift our technology in every field in the shipbuilding area. You know, shipbuilding is a in an area where all engineering are involved. So we need to turn in all industry. Mechanical, electrical, ICT, civil, every technology needed. So, that technology, that area, that elevation definitely gives us clue to, to be controlled in all the areas of our national level. I hope the seminar or the conference conducted for the last two years is success and this will earn something to our national development and we can give some recommendations to the government that will be our success. Gentlemen, those who have come from our federal countries from outside, I thank all of them for attending, for coming, Bangladesh and such to work. The technical University, Indian University, highest learning avenue in this country. So, we wish you to stay again in this country with more powerful knowledge so that we can have more discussion with you and we we'll keep in touch with our senior committee with all so that we can interact our knowledge through this conference. Okay. With that, I thank the chief guest 
so his BDC, BDC deal, he managed to come work, and I am very grateful to him that he accepted our invitation, he attended our the celebration, with that I thank all of you, and wish you good luck, wish you happy, good luck.